fight between the Korean Superboy, Duo Short, and Andre Bishop. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. Well, a lot of people think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. And now let's get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters with similar height and some differences in reach. And now one more time for the official introductions. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Van Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Five round for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 218 pounds. Fighting out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, presenting the challenger, Andre. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. The Korean Super Bowl, the Korean Super started here. Round one is underway, and we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is, and this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Left hook counter there yet again. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. 
Throwing that jab, no good. All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank and not good for the old noggin. You can't take so many upside the head. Somebody wants to. Misses with the left hook. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything comes. Good stick. Big elbow there, Lance. Just, just a slip there. Ooh, we what a right hand by this young man. Bishop gets touched by that kick there. Oh, beautiful kick to the body there, and he just left himself wide open for that strike. Very vulnerable by leaning in, keeping the guard high to allow for an opening down low. I mean, that right hand landed square. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Lands with the kick there. No pad on that foot. No shit guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws it. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. All right, hands up, hands up. Set up that now. Just out of range with the big right hand. Big leg kick land. Not there. Oh, effective strike there by the Korean Super Bowl. Bishop's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Just out of range with that right hand. And they separate. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. And he landed the right hand there. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, single collar tie here. Back and forth we go. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Oh, nice jab. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Right hand punch to the clinch. Knee to the body. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's gonna give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. Bishop gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming Man, this way. Man, get that out of here. 
He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. So there it is. Longer reach, paying dividends as he counters with a punch. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Bishop's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. on the feet, his opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Kenny Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he landed that overhand right, he hurt people bad. This guy has to be hurt very badly again. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Loaded up on that right hand, too. Keep it busy here on the clinch. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. And they separate. Big Paul punch lands. Now he gets back in range. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, nice right hand. Just over three minutes to go. And they separate. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Try to establish that jab. What a punch. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Oh, oh, he's in the air. He could be in trouble. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's in the octagon or at his mama's house for Thanksgiving. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Knock him out. The fight's done. Bishop gets hit with a kick. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Don't finish his fight. Choi's kick to the body. That one blocked by the defense. Good punch lands. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Connects with the right. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up for me now. Doubled up on the jab there. Nicely done by the Korean Super Bowl. Effective punch there by Bishop. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Oh, and he lands another punch there, and you can tell at this point, he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at... Oh, 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 Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Ten seconds remain in round two. Right hook to the head blocked. Straight right, he misses. Right on the Well, on 
I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient. Oh! Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position up the bottom. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's gonna start looking to land big shots from the top. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Bishop. Gets up again here, but hurting. Nice right. Misses with the right hand. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Let's get to Bruce Buffer. He has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotti has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, five seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. DC, you know what it's like to be the UFC heavyweight champion. It's not the easiest belt to defend. Kind of made it look easy tonight. I mean, that's why the belt changes and changes so fast. Things change so quick at heavyweight. But with 